This week's section, this week's reading is called Tetzaveh. Tetzaveh literally means to mandate. God tells Moses to mandate the Jewish people, to order the Jewish people to gather oil to light the candelabra, the menorah, that's what it's called in Hebrew, in the temple. Now, this is the from Moses born, from the time that he was born on until the end of the whole reading, is the only time that Moshe's name does not appear in the Torah. Now, from the time he was born, all the sections, all the parashahs in the reading, in the weekly reading, has some relationship with Moshe. Now, this parsha doesn't, that Moshe's name doesn't appear. The question is why? And the answer is, later on, in the parsha, when the Jewish people did the golden calf, and Moshe went up to, Mount, to, to God to ask for, for forgiveness for the Jewish people, and God was doubtful. He didn't want to forgive. God, Moshe said, if you do not forgive them, erase me from your book. I don't want to appear in your book that people should say I was not I was not able to ask forgiveness for these people. So God said, wait a second, wait a second. I'm not going to erase it from my book. I'm going to forgive them. However, however, we have one section, one reading, one week that his name, Moshe's name, does not appear. Now, from here we can learn two basic, very important things. First of all, be very careful with what you say. Moshe said, if you're not going to forgive them, erase me. However, since he was such a very high spiritual person, even, even though the condition that he gave not to be forgiven did not fulfill, however, his name was erased also. So we have to be very careful with what we say, because whatever we say has some kind of effect in the world. Sometimes we see that, sometimes we don't, but it actually has an effect. And the second thing, how much we have to give ourselves, even the most precious thing we have, for Moshe, Torah, the reading, the connection to God, was the most important thing in his life. That's why it's called Torah's Moshe, the, the teachings of Moshe. However, he was ready to give up that and, and, and told God, Mechenina, erase me if you're not going to forgive. So what, is, what do we learn from here? That we can, we have to actually, not we can, of course we can. We have to give even our most precious things in order to save another soul.